Welcome to Lakeshore. This is going to be your Arctic Wolf. I'm going to walk you through it. In the very front compartment, you're going to have a spare tire, battery disconnect, 12 volt battery. Right to the right, you're going to have docking lights, which are the blue LED lights on the front of your camper. Auto leveling, here's a little cheat sheet here. To turn this, this panel on, you're going to push up and down at the same time. Go up and down just to control your front legs. Auto level to level out your unit. Hitch height. Hitch height is going to be right before you hit auto level. It's going to go back to the, that location. So you hit auto level, then you hit hitch height. It's going to go right back to the location that you right before you hit auto level. Retract all after you're connected to your truck. Right to the driver's side. VIN, model, tire pressure, all right there. Two 20 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulator is going to be on the passenger side. Big pass through with a motion light. Manual light for the outside here. You got cable and satellite input. Fresh water to fill the tank. City water connection if you're just going to use the pressure off the water hose. Black tank flush. Black tank flush, don't hook up a water hose until you're connected to the ground and your valves are open. Right to the right. You're going to have your exhaust for your furnace. It gets extremely hot. Anything up against it will burn. So here's your valve here. Connection there. Gray tank valve. Coming to the back side of your unit. You have the back, back bathroom connection. or your sink. Outdoor shower, hot and cold, 50 amp supply. Coming up on the dry passenger side, you got your water heater. Access panel to access the back of your water heater. Blue spray nozzle. You have an ice machine as well as a fridge. Just remember these items are not gonna power up unless you have 120. Outdoor stove top, yes you'll need a, a uh, lighter to light that to input your blue spray hose. Condensation line is that uh, this bottom vent for your refrigeration, don't be alarmed if it drips a little bit. Pass through here, you got a 50 to a 30 amp, 30 to a 15 amp sewer hose. Other LP tank regulator here, turn the dial to the other side to use the other tank. This is manual, so it won't automatically change on you. Going inside your unit. Your panel. You also get the one control app. Control it. Um, buttons here will show you your levels. Water pump. If you're going to use the water off the tank. Water heater. Propane side. Inside LEDs, outside LEDs, living room lights, kitchen lights, awning, and your big slide control there. Just make sure your drawers are shut, bringing in your slide. This dial here is going to control the brightness on the awning lights. Shows you your voltage. If you want one control hot spot, that's where you hook it up. This panel here is your one control panel. It does everything this panel does, just digital. Right to the right, you're going to have thermostat. You're going to hit the bottom button, the mode button. going to go to fan, cool, heat, and then off. In your master bedroom here, you got two light switches on the wall. One's going to do the main lights, one's going to do the LED lights. You are prepped and ready for an AC unit back here if you decide to get one. You have USB chargers as well as chargers on each side. Individual reading lights. Bathroom is pretty self-explanatory. You got a GFI breaker right near the sink there. Big pantry area, guys. Right when you walk in the door right to the left. Nice little coat rack. Fireplace is not going to work unless you hurt the short power. Radio will power off the 12 volts. Fridge, you're just going to turn it on. It's going to use, it's automatically on auto, so it's going to go to 
your electric. Now when you disconnect, it's going to go to your propane. If you don't want neither, just go ahead and turn it off, push and hold. Microwave is going to be the best indicator if you have short power. It will be lit up and working. Um, if you don't, check, recheck your connections. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to be able to use your microwave. Stove tap. You're just going to turn your dial over to the high. Use your spark igniter on the left. Little lights here. These keys are on your sink here. These little lights here are old school tap lights, so they got like the little button in the center to turn them on and off. You'll see those throughout your unit. These drop down lights over the kitchen table have the button there. The ones here are again little little button lights here. Going into your bunk room. Bunk room here. You got a light switch here. A uh, little little light for on the bottom bunk. Charging ports at each bunk here. That completes our video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore. Have a great day.